um just i just woke up this morning it's friday i'm always uh, my schedule is less tight on friday so i just decided to make this video today are you excited to see me again <laughs> okay so i'm precious kalawale a good degree intern at shopify and welcome to my youtube channel again one stop for tech newbies which is designed to supply you with everything you need almost everything you need as you are starting out in tech so today um this is like the next video after the welcome intro video so today i want to speak with us about my motivation towards getting started in tech Right, so we have many reasons for learning how to tech. We have different motivations behind it. And some people, they'll get to tell you that it is because we live in a computerized world and they believe everyone needs a programming skill, needs programming skills in whatever field they are. They need like analytical skills and all of those things to help improve themselves in their field, right? acceptable and some people they believe there is money in tech and they are there to make the money we call those people sapper driven <laughs> they are sapper driven all right so some people they just want to make more money and we have some people that are just naturally passionate they just want anything they key just type in on, being on their laptop and stuff and most of those people they kind of like i said they are passionate right so they want to like make exploit build, build cute cool things and stuff and the last set of people i will talk about is maybe the women you know due to their background they feel challenged and if they think okay we have men in this field why can't i dive into it they just want to like be in those places men are always seen all right so for me personally i would just say a very I, I will i will say a very brief story and then we get to conclude what motivated me to get started in tech all right it all started with my brother my brother is a computer science student and he, he does machine learning data science and software engineering so he attended a boot camp far back as 2019 and during the boot camp he was able to it, it's called Data Science Nigeria Bootcamp. Data Science Nigeria is a community of developer in Africa owned by Dr. Bayo Adekombi. And they majorly train the groom developers in the field of data science. They have hackathons, competitions to evaluate your skills and stuff. And then you get to win award prizes. You can check out their website. All right. So he attended his bootcamp and he, he, he attended different sessions, different workshops. And he met Dr. Stephen Odaibo, he's an AI engineer, a, a computer scientist, and also an ophthalmologist. He owns a company called Retina AI. He is my role model. So he, he, he attended his workshop, and the man talked about how you can combine technology with healthcare in the healthcare industry to make healthcare better. Because he majors in ophthalmologist eye treatment using technology when he talked about this uh my brother came home i forgot to mention my childhood dream has always to become a medical doctor all right that's always to become a medical doctor maybe a surgeon i was motivated by ben cousin when i read one of his stories so my brother came home that day and after the boot camp and he was telling me the entire story i was like oh wow this is very cool this is very cool he had a net care so i started making my personal research I read a lot about this man. I checked his LinkedIn profile, his biography and stuff. I was 100% motivated by his story. So that was why I started. And when I left high school at the age of 14, well, I, I, I grew up in a middle class family. We are not poor, we are not rich. <laughs> so and my parents really, oh, they groomed us to be independent. 
in every place we find ourselves. So this has actually helped me. Since I finished high school at 14, I had three different jobs. I once worked as, uh, as a salesperson in a plastic shop, plastic industry. I worked as a cashier at a pharmaceutical company. I also worked as a manager for a cement industry. All right, but they are just small, small scale business. You get it. So after this, after after all my work, I started out in tech fully in 2020. I left high school in 2017, started coding in 2020. All right. So when I started, when I learned about Dr. Stephen Odaibo, I started learning how to code. I started with data science because I feel okay. Oh, the applications of data science is very wild in in, in other fields. So. That was why I started. In subsequent videos, I will share with us the journey, everything I faced, uh, the sweet part and the bad part, the, the sad part. Let me put it that way. And also, one one thing to to wrap up the video: if you are just starting out in tech, no matter like what your motivation is, there's a place for you. Just see it that way. There's a place for you. You can. Whether it's, <laughs> whether it's it's for the money, it doesn't matter. So far, you have a passion. So, so far, you have a reason for starting out. There's a place for you. And if you don't have a reason for joining, for starting out in tech, you can get started. Probably as you are on your way in the journey, you get to figure one of the things out, discover a lot of things about yourself. Everything is fine. All right. So subscribe. Click on the subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel. Don't mess me. <laughs> All right. So in the next video, uh, let's stay tuned. I won't, I won't mention the hints. All right, let's just stay tuned as we'll be rolling out our uh, more, more things about tech newbies. All right, bye bye.